North Carolina. We just picked up the kids from preschool. We are hoping that they will take a nap on the way up there. We have charged the car. Yeah, we're at 100% and we're gonna need every ounce of it. Uh, well, we just probably dropped a couple percent. So 100% had us at 238 miles on this P90D. traveling 107 miles up into the mountains and picking up 3,500 feet of elevation uh, on our climb up there with these big wheels. So uh, it is estimating that we'd get there with about 20% range left. Yeah. So I just put autopilot on and I don't know if I can trust this car like I trust mine. <laughs> it's funny, it's a funny feeling. It's almost like when you trust your own kid but you might not trust somebody else's kid. It's funny you said that I felt the same way on the loaner car, but it's fleet learning is what it's doing and learning from everybody else's Tesla. So in theory, it's not going to be any better than any, you know, autopilot one car. the accident took place so seven seconds is kind of a lot yeah he was going 74 miles per hour so seven seconds covers a tremendous amount of ground but at the time the software was not uh, designed to stop a car when when the car crosses their path uh, at a highway like this a divided highway like this it's designed more mainly for uh, rear end collisions so for auto emergency braking so the driver had seven seconds to to react to the situation and continued going forward but Goodness, I can't imagine not looking at the yeah. road for seven seconds, even with you know the brilliance of autopilot. Potty break! <laughs> There's a Tesla charger at a restaurant, so we figured we'll uh, do a quick bathroom break. There we are. Pit stop here. We've got the level two charger, little Clipper Creek, and also the Tesla charger. And this is why supercharging is nice because the pit stops are a requirement regardless. And Quick charging just helps with that, but obviously we'll take anything. I thought I was like getting the good end of the deal, not having to carry the little one, but now I have the bigger one. There's a level three charger here as well, the uh, Chatamo, but the Chatamo, of course, you want to go to the restaurant there? I go here. Look at wine the Chatamo it. needs an adapter, which we don't have, but very cool that this mountain town is all about EVs. Be careful, Kim, there's a car coming and I doubt he has auto emergency braking. Somebody wants ice cream. Yeah, our bathroom stop turned into an ice cream shop. <laughs> so let's see if they're even open. It is the middle of winter. Oh, we're closed until the end of January. Um, should we try the other place if they have cookies? Look at this place right across the street from the Chargers. Beautiful little mountain coffee shop with all the goodies here. Look at, we're getting that white chocolate coconut cookie and <laughs> Senses that we're back. And he says, come on in, come on in. Thank you for waiting for me to round the corner. Check it out. We just picked up 27 miles. Yep, plus 27. It's charging at a rate of 46 miles per hour, pulling about 70 amps. This car has the high amperage charger, which is, I believe, $1,500 in the design studio. We didn't opt for it in our car, but it's very nice that this happens to have it here on this little quick weekend getaway of ours. So we're calling the resort that is going to be right next to our cabin and we're going to ask if they're available um, for us to pull in there and charge while we dine. Hi, we are driving up from Atlanta. We have an electric car and we were curious if we would be able to dine in the restaurant and charge our car while we did, did that. Yeah, we do have a, is it a Tesla? Yes. We have a, a Tesla 
Club uh, charging station, probably about two two blocks back from our uh, into our ballet lot. So Main Street would be where our restaurant is, and two blocks back would be well, where the charging post is for our guests. Okay. Would we be able to um, then go ahead and charge while we're while we're eating? Absolutely. You can definitely at any time. Um, I'll be happy to point out where that charging station is, and uh, we can escort you down to the restaurant and we can show you the whole property. Okay. Sounds great. Thank, Thank you. you. We're gonna make our climb now. We're going up, as you notice, right into North Carolina, briefly back into Georgia, and then on into North Carolina to our destination. We're climbing up now 2,000 feet from from 2,000 up to 4,100 in the next 11 miles, and. Tesla owners will tell you that for every thousand feet you go up, you lose about 10 miles of range. So we're gonna climb up 2,000 feet here, and uh, that's 20 miles, and then we have an 11 mile journey left. So 31 miles are gonna be spent to go up 11 miles, essentially, in energy. And you'd get a lot of that back on the way back down the mountain, but um, just an interesting little tidbit when it comes to elevation. We are in Highlands, North Carolina. And look at this, we didn't go to the old Edwards Inn because the restaurant's closed there, but there's a public charging here with the 72 amps that we have access to. And of course it is iced, even though it says reserved for electric vehicle parking. And fortunately the cable is just long enough. So vanilla ice can stick it. We will plug it and get by. Hopefully won't get ticketed for it, but uh, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So, in essence, you do have a guarantee. <laughs> yeah, that's what I just said. I mean, maybe the officer hopefully would understand. I don't know. Depending on but if he cares. Officer, please. <laughs> officer, I've been iced. I've been iced. <laughs> the waiter just came by asking about our camera, and somehow it led into a discussion about the YouTube channel. <laughs> so, we got to 90%. We dined, and our friends who are going to be up with us at the cabin this weekend showed up and dined with us as well. So you see how much juice we have and we're now driving in the dark towards our cabin and uh, we are definitely good to go in the charge department. We just got to the cabin, starting to unload the car, but check it out. We have this kitchen, very rustic feel. Check out the master though. I mean, seriously, this is nice. This is gorgeous. So we have our little fireplace over here. Outside is a hot tub. So after oh, the kids is. go to bed. Can I get a hot tub? This is Erica. Erica, say hi. 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 So where are you guys sleeping? Who's I'm sleeping, sleeping on? right here. Are you going to go on the top bunk? Yeah. No, no, you're going to you wet your head and you wake up. Hi, face. How about we just go like this? Ah. Ah. <laughs> Oh my God. It's a bird. It's a plane. <laughs>